Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. Today I'm gonna to show you five Iron Maiden albums that I think are underrated, but before we get into that, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you can continue to follow my musical obsession. All right, so five Iron Maiden albums. Well, Iron Maiden has a whole bunch of records and we know that. Uh, and on top of that, a whole bunch of live albums. There's a lot of material to digest with Iron Maiden. We all have our favorites. But I'd venture to say that the ones I'm going to show today uh, might not be your favorite. And I'm going to say they're some of my favorites, and I believe that they're a little bit underrated. So let's first start off with Dance of Death, all right? I've read a lot of things about this album, how people hated the cover. Um, you know, I don't mind the cover. It's a little busy. But let's not talk about the cover. Let's talk about the music. This was the second album that came out after Bruce came back into Maiden. I mean, it opens up with two short but sweet songs, In Your Face Tunes, Wildest Dreams, and Rainmaker. I know, I love No More Lies. Monsecure has, Monsecure has a cool rhythm to it. The title track, Dance of Death, very intricate song. Um, I love Passchendaele, Face in the Sand. Age of Innocence, and then it ends with Journeyman. I think this album sort of was uh, clouded by the remnants of Brave New World, because Brave New World is a great album. This is a great album as well. I'm going to say Dance of Death, underrated. Next, Fear of the Dark. I believe that this album is underrated. Now, the title track is played all the time. Fear the Dark, and there's a reason. It's, it's a killer record. And back in the day, Maiden would do Be Quick or Be Dead, and uh, From Here to Eternity and Afraid to Shoot Strangers, but there's a lot of other great stuff on here. I love the power ballad, Wasting Love, and I love the hard rock vibe that they got on this record with Chains of Misery and Judas Be My Guide and Weekend Warrior. There's some cool tunes like The Fugitive, Childhood's End, Fear is the Key with sort of some different song structures too. I think Maiden was, by this point, wanting to try some different things and it works for the most part. So Fear of the Dark, underrated. I like it better than No Prayer for the Dying. Another album that's underrated, I feel, is Iron Maiden Killers. A lot of times the Paul Diano records, people go to the first one for good reason, but I tend to go to Killers. Um, I love the title track of Killers, and I love uh, Genghis Khan, the instrumental, and there's just some really cool deep cuts on this record that you don't hear that often. And Paul Diano, a great vocalist for what Maiden was doing here, it was sort of like uh, metal meets punk. And again, is the first album really good? Yeah, it's really good, but so is Killers. I'm gonna say Killers, underrated. And these last two, are from the Blaze era, and they are severely underrated. X Factor and Virtual Eleven, all right? These two records need to be listened to more, all right? Blaze Bailey is a great singer. Now, unfortunately, he couldn't sing a lot of the Bruce stuff, but who can? I mean, Bruce's range is phenomenal. Blaze has a lower range. He has a different technique to his vocals. He's a, he's got a darker vocal quality, which fit, fits especially the X Factor, but also Virtual Eleven. There are some really, really good songs in here that they're still playing today. Sign of the Cross off of, the, off of X Factor. Uh, the Klansman off of Virtual Eleven. Out of these two, I like Virtual Eleven better. And I'm going to tell you, listen to Future Reel if you haven't listened to that song. Listen to When Two Worlds Collide. Listen to Don't Look to the Eyes of a Stranger. Don't look to, don't look to, don't look to the eyes of a stranger. It's just great. I mean, do they repeat some things? Maybe too much? Maybe a little bit. But, uh, Angel and the Gambler. But I still love Angel and the Gambler. I still love this record, and I still love this record. Two records that are very underrated. So there we go. X Factor, Virtual Eleven, underrated. I feel Killers is underrated. I feel it's uh, overshadowed by the debut. Um, Fear of the Dark, underrated. And Dance of Death, underrated. I feel it's overshadowed by Brave New World. Let me know what you guys think and enjoy the rest of your Father's Day. Adios.